All right, so you're gonna notice that I am coming to you from a different location where I have the last couple of videos, and that is because this is all about the background, all right? So there is a way to change your background in Google Meet. And uh, I mean, there's a bit that goes into it, it's pretty involved, but um, if it's worth it to you, uh, it is a really fun tool that can be great for education, especially if uh, you want to put up a backdrop having to do with a uh, historic location or uh, you know something having to do with geography. Um, and we're going to go into that. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys uh, a way of changing your background in Google Meet. Here we go. Okay, so here we are. Um, <clears throat> I am using a Mac. Uh, you can also do this on a PC, no problem. Um, so the first thing you are going to need uh, is actually going to be the Snap Camera, all right? I actually am not a Snapchat person, um, but uh, just the Snap Camera is uh, something you can use uh, on your desktop computer or um, uh, laptop, things like that, you know. Uh, so first, I'm going to just Google Snap Cam. All right, there it is. Okay, and here it is Snap Camera, which is a snapcamera.snapchat.com. All right, we're gonna click here. All right, and it's gonna bring you to uh, this spot, and then you are just going to download it here. And it just kind of shows you how this is, uh, you know, giving you the ability to do obviously a lot of different things, but we're just concerned with uh, background for now. All right, because we don't want to get too carried away, obviously. Um, and so this is where you will uh, download it here. It gives you the option for either a Mac or a PC. You are also going to need Lens Studio, okay? This is where you can create your own. This is where you're gonna create your own background. So I'm sorry, let's go back here. Right over here up top is where it says Lens Studio, okay? So you click on that. Also free, these are free, okay? And you can just do that. And this is basically gonna allow you uh, to create your own stuff, all right, which is really cool uh, beyond the, uh, the classroom. So um, here, I'm gonna open up Snap Camera, and here I am. Hello, all right. So uh, you're also gonna notice I have a green screen behind me. Um, not totally necessary, all right. This actually does a pretty good job of, uh, of finding the background, but it doesn't hurt. I use it just kinda to make sure uh, and you can even tell, and you'll see that's that's there. So uh, without the green screen, so that'll just prove to you that it'll be okay. All right. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this, all right, into this. Okay. And now, boom, here I am. I'm in a different place. So right now, just while I'm dealing with the kids, um, they are in my quote-unquote studio. Um, next week, I'm going to do another place for me since I'm a music teacher. Uh, I'm going to be doing some different concert halls around the world, or uh, maybe I'll have uh, you know a, a famous place uh, where something happened with music, you know Mozart's house, something like that. All right, um, P Diddy's house, but I, I don't know. So uh, anyway. Um, so I'm going to turn this off because I'm going to show you how to create that because I made this one and it's not that hard. It was daunting when I first tried it. Um, but uh, now I'm going to open up Lens Studio. Okay. Um, so uh, you are going to be looking for templates. Okay. Uh, when you're looking at templates and I already found it, but you're looking for the one that's called segmentation. Okay. Segmentation is going to basically create that background. Okay. So we're going to click on that. All right. Again, it looks crazy. Don't worry about most of this stuff right now, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is you are going to uh, go down to where it says image, image texture, all right? And it had heart. You are then going to go over, you're gonna push plus, all right? Go down to from files. That's gonna be from your computer, all right? I happen to know I'm looking for my recording studio, uh, PNG file, see, there it is. I'm gonna push open. All right, push OK. All right, now, in order to see if it worked, okay, you're gonna go up here. Uh, don't go to where it says preview in Snapchat. All right, that's gonna show you as if you're on the phone in the Snapchat app. All right, instead, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go down to preview, all right? Now, as of right now, this is showing 
uh, what it would look like if it were tiled. So make sure you go over here where it says tiled and uncheck that. Okay, it's gonna reset. Probably have to push that. Yep, there we go. And here I am. <laughs> All right, so this is what it's gonna look like. Um, and um, so you are, oh, and this is my, uh, my regular camera on my laptop. Um, this is what I use. I use an external. All right. And I notice when I do this, the, uh, it's not as reliable of a preview. Um, but I would not worry about that. But as long as you're seeing that that's what it's going to look like. Okay. See that? All right. So, um, let's go ahead and we're going to publish lens. Okay. So you're going to publish the lens. All right. It says my lenses. Okay. You can add things. You can, uh, you know, lens preview, right? All these things. I, I didn't mess with any of that. Um, and you are basically um, going to submit it, okay? And uh, eventually it's going to show up uh, in Snap Camera, but I, it can take a few hours. So don't do this right before you're going on, all right? It can take a few hours to get into the quote unquote marketplace, again, even though everything is free, okay? So you would then submit it there. Right, it's submitting okay and you see now it's down here okay this is the one I already did this one says segmentation and it says in review you're gonna be able to find it when it's live okay um, so that's what you're looking for I went ahead and erased the one that I just created with you guys but I am going to show you how to find it from here so that you can actually put it in there all right so uh, I'm gonna go up to you see now it says live I'm gonna go up here to where it says my name, okay? I'm gonna click this, and I'm gonna to go to Creator Profile. So I remember I had already um, had an account, so here I am, and here are the lenses I created. This was the lens I created, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this right here. Click to copy lens URL. Lens URL copied. Now I'm gonna go back to Snap Camera. Remember, we were in Lens Studio. Now we're going to Snap Camera, okay? Um, so again, I have it right up here, but just to show you, all right, search lenses and I paste right there. Here it is. Okay. All right. So I click on that and, uh, what I did, all right, I click on that and, um, I made sure I put a star next to it to add it to my favorites. That way, all I have to do is go over here and you'll have them. So if you end up making one every week. All right, or if you ever want to revisit one, all right, they can all be there. Now, here's the cool part. Now I'm going to show you when you go to Google Meet. All right, so I'm going to join a meet. Okay, so I'm going to join or start a meeting. All right, so here I am, but I'm just going to show you because these are my defaults. All right, I'm going to push the three, uh, the three dots down to settings. All right, so um, right over here is where you're gonna see I'm using Snap Camera, all right? And this is what it would look like if I was using my built-in camera. All right, you can see me over there, hi. And then this is what it would look like with my external camera, but without that new background, right? But you have to use Snap Camera, all right? When you use Snap Camera, that's what it'll look like, okay? And uh, the best definition you're gonna get is 720, just because that's the maximum for uh, Google, okay? Uh, and then you'll be able to join and, uh, and it will be up there. So that's what's really neat. And if you need to switch it on and off, that's where you go is you just go to the settings. All right, so I hope that that makes sense. Uh, have fun with it. And uh, if you have any other suggestions, maybe you found a different way that works uh, that could be better uh, or just different, uh, please let us know, share it. All right, again, we're all in this together, and I know it's been a crazy first week for most of us, and, um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think we are all learning a lot. So uh, best of luck, and I'll see you later.